All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and I got an interesting video for you guys today talking about FPP and specifically PUBG's decision to add FPP back to the ranked queue, but this is only happening for PUBG console in the NA and EU regions. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting my channel. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subbed yet, please consider doing so. This has been a long-term goal of mine on YouTube, and I would really appreciate it. So quickly here, the debate between TPP and FPP has gone on forever, and I know a lot of people are tired of hearing about it, including myself, so I'm not going to have it here, but I just want to lay a little bit of a background of what's going on in PUBG. So the game was originally created in TPP, and then FPP was added in later, and a lot of people say this was for the Western markets and also for the competitive scene because most competitive shooters are in FPP. So this leads us to where we're at today. A lot of people that play ranked are very vocal that they want it to be changed to FPP because in their minds, ultimately ranked mirrors competitive play and should match it in perspective. And also there's a lot of independent organizations that run tournaments on console and FPP. So there is a big demand for people that want to play in the competitive slash ranked scene. And if you follow that trail, it actually ends with a change by PUBG. But it starts with Alex the PUBG dev first. So Alex the PUBG dev is an unofficial Twitter account by PUBG that is run by a developer or multiple developers. We're not sure at PUBG, but it's a way for them to talk with the community. Sometimes they give us some hints or leaks at things that are to come in the future. And they had mentioned that they were going into a meeting talking about the FPP ranked queues and the queue situation in PUBG. And the results of that meeting is why I'm making this video now. So PUBG Battleground Support tweeted out yesterday on February 16th that for console only, starting from Season 16, we will be opening Squad FPP alongside the Squad TPP queue for Ranked Mode on console in the NA and EU regions. We'll be monitoring matchmaking throughout Season 16 to determine the sustainability of both queues and make changes if necessary. And just a reminder that Season 16 is live on PC and will be going live on console on February 24th, which is Thursday. So that's when FPP will be added back into the ranked queue. So finally, the competitive scene gets what they want and PUBG has actually listened to the community. You think people would be happy, but shockingly, there were still so many people complaining. And I was surprised to see that at first, but after reading through some of the messages, I actually found a few valid points by the community towards PUBG. And this actually got a response from Alex, the PUBG dev and some of the community team by PUBG. And one of the first ones here, which I think is the most important is that PUBG needs to do a better job of communicating this. They just tweeted this out on their PUBG Battleground support Twitter, and they have multiple Twitters for all of the different regions. There's so many different accounts to follow with PUBG, and what if you don't even have Twitter? And I don't wanna go down a rabbit hole here, but honestly, I feel like this is one of PUBG's biggest problems in general, is that they have a hard time communicating information like this in updates, but let's talk about a solution. So a reasonable answer here is for PUBG to add in some kind of notification or something on the news tab for the console NA and EU region, and then this did warrant a response by Alex, the PUBG dev, where they said they were going to talk to the other developers and see if they can make this happen. And I feel like this is just one of those situations where, again, if people don't know about it, then you're already setting this up for failure. And you might as well not even make the change if you're not going to do the appropriate things to follow up with the change. And then another great point was that the community also asked for PUBG to make FPP rank the default mode when you switch over to the rank section so that players will see it and have the option. There's no way that they'll miss that FPP is now available. And again, Alex, the PUBG dev responded saying pretty much the same thing that there's no guarantees, but that they would talk to the rest of the dev team to see if they could change this because it would set up FPP for a higher chance of success. So what does this mean? And what are the pros and cons of this? Well, first and foremost, it's interesting to see that the ranked community or at least the player base for all of console seems to be better than PC. This is something that I speculated for a long time because it seems like console can hold up more of the queues than PC, but since we don't see data on console player count, there was no way to know if this was true. So it seems like we can pretty much say that this is the case now or else why wouldn't they be doing this on PC as well? And the biggest pro here is that FPP does match the competitive scene. And if this turns out to be successful, it could drive more players to try out FPP and in certain regions and platforms, it could drive more players to try out ranked because maybe one of the reasons why they're not playing is because it's currently in TPP and they'd rather play in FPP. And on the contrary, ranked right now is just in one perspective, TPP. So adding in FPP is yet again splitting the player base, which could hurt both queues and ultimately just hurt ranked in general, which is already has less people playing. And then also there are people that only want to play TPP ranked because again, TPP is the most popular queue. So you might lose out on a big chunk of players that are playing in ranked and maybe those people uh, will no longer play the game because a lot of people do play ranked for the extra loot and for the no bots. 
So to recap this and also give my opinion, despite there being a few cons and myself being a TPP player, because that's how I learned on console, I really feel like this is a great idea. I, I always was kind of confused that if the competitive scene is an FPP, then the rank scene should be as well. I think for normals, it's great to have TPP and FPP, and I like switching back and forward to both. And again, if you have an older console, it sucks to play an FPP because you don't have the increased frame rates. But if you're going into ranked and it's fine to play ranked as a casual player, I feel like it should again mirror the competitive experience because that's what you're going for. And if you're not trying to get that competitive experience, then again, I feel like you should just be playing in the normal mode. But that's just my opinion. And it's tough because like I mentioned before, I know a lot of people play ranked for the faster circles, the better loot and no bots, but ranked is a pretty difficult experience. At this point, if you're in rank, there's a lot of great players and teams in there. So you can't just really have a casual experience in there. You will probably get destroyed. It's really for trying to sharpen your sword and play strategically and play against the best players in a competitive way. So again, this is an interesting conversation and a lot to debate, but if we just go back to what PUBG is actually doing, they're not removing anything. They're just adding in the FPP ranked queue to console NA and EU to test out how many people are gonna play, what the player population is, and ultimately they can look at that data and make a decision from there. But I really feel like it's worth it for them to test it out. I'm happy that they listen to the community. But again, if they're gonna test it out, they need to do it the right way. Make FPP the default queue, test out what that's like. Does that make a huge difference? And also they need to let people know. It's kind of an interesting experience if they made the default queue just in general for everybody for FPP for like a week and, and see where those numbers differ and what the community response would be. Uh, so definitely looking forward to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Hopefully not too much fighting about TPP, FPP. I don't want to read too many of those comments, but definitely want to hear what you guys think. And as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out. Respect the mini, man. It may be mini, but it's mighty. It's mighty fine. Yeah, baby.